Oh man, with absolutely nothing left to lose here. Welcome back to another video. This time we're doing a review of the Yule Line April Kaori from the Kofu Line and it's from company name Taito. So this figure here just sort of came out of nowhere. Um, Yule Line April landed like ages ago, so it's a bit weird that they're making a figure for her now, um, maybe it's an anniversary or something, I don't even know, you tell me. No. But anyway, not much similar to quite for this one, just need to pop onto the base and voila, a fully similar masterpiece, so no overall, it's a pretty cool figure. So taking a closer look at that noggin first, and overall I think it looks pretty good, um, I don't think it's dead on accurate to her on screen appearance, but it's pretty okay for a cheaper price figure. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad, the face does look rather nice with some really red blushes on the cheeks. Um, it's a little bit less noticeable on camera, but in person, good lordy, is this a human or a tomato? The eyes have been <laughs> nice print as well, some really nice detailing in them, look at that, wow. And the hair for the most part does look pretty good, uh, they did, did uh, I'm stuttering like a bitch right now, uh, they did, <laughs> fucking hell. They did try to hide the seam lines in the uh, strands of hair, but uh, it's very noticeable in areas, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but yeah, it looks okay. Um, and it does get slightly translucent at the ends there, which I don't really like when figures have translucent hair, but, um, yeah, this case is not terrible, um, but I think the color... Focus? But I don't think the color looks that good, uh, especially where the translucent parts are showing. But just a minor nitpick, it looks okay. Anyway, down to the body, and I think it looks pretty good, although if you face it this way, she kind of looks like a pylon. As she does have very baggy clothes, um, but yeah, all the sculpt looks rather nice. I like how the tie is like slightly windswept, it looks pretty good. And all the paint apps looks pretty good as well, there's no issue with the paint. Um, some shitting would have been nice, but again, it's a simple price figure, so I didn't expect too much. Here's a closer look at the school logo, and there's the back of the figure. Anyway, for those scientists out there, here's the upskirt. Here's the upskirt shot, you're welcome, not all heroes wear capes. Legs, they look like legs. Socks, they look like socks. Shoes, they look like shoes. And here we have the best. So anyway, moving on to the articulation. And now on to the size comparisons. Emmarin Kitagawa, Uzaki Hana, Fujiwara Chika, Satoru Gojo, and Lord Frieza. Hello, monkeys! So overall, I think this is a rather nice figure. So if you like the character, if you like the series, or if you like girls with blonde hair, school outfit that's very baggy, uh, two arms, two eyes, two legs, and one mouth. Dare I say this might be the perfect figure for you. But anyway, that does it with this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, until next time, bye.